Brown Windsor soup is a British meat soup that is said by conventional wisdom to have been popular during the Victorian and Edwardian eras, although well documented evidence for the soup does not exist until the 1920s and 30s. In any case, Brown Windsor soup became shorthand for awful food and was used as a prop by comics in the post war years. <laughs> Origins and history It is unclear whether this often written about soup is a Victorian origin. The food writer Alan Davidson in the Oxford Companion to Food 2006 refers to an elaborate late Victorian recipe in Garrett's Encyclopedia of Practical Cookery from 1890, although Davidson does not make clear if Garrett's recipe is for a brown Windsor soup. The earliest known cases of brown Windsor soup are found in restaurant menus published as advertisements in newspapers during the 1920s and 1930s. Examples include Kadena Cafés Portsmouth, which advertised soup, tomato or brown Windsor on its menu dated 24 February 1926. Bobby's of Queen's Road Bristol advertised potage brown Windsor under the soup heading on its menu dated 13 February 1931. The Scottish department store Isaac Benzie advertised Brown Windsor soup in a menu published the 14th of December 1933. Despite the soup being documented in restaurant menus during the interwar years, some more recent web sources incorrectly claim there are no references to Brown Windsor soup prior to a joke mention or invention in the 1953 Ealing Studios film comedy The Captain's Paradise. Another associates it with calves' feet soup a la Windsor, created for the post-natal Queen Victoria by Charles Elmay Francatelli, her chef. Etymologist Michael Quinion incorrectly reports the earliest known references from 1943, in The Fancy, by Monica Dickens. As to the name, a few early white Windsor soup recipes included the use of Windsor fava beans, broad beans perhaps the origin of the name. Quinion adds that fictional barrister Rumpole of the Bailey mentioned eating it on the Great Western Railway in a book of short stories dated 1978. Although Quinion questions whether this is an endorsement of the soup. The extract confirms that the soup was at one time a staple of the restaurant menus of British railways. Dr. Malcolm Timperley, a researcher in the National Railway Museum's Library and Archives, reports that their team has specifically researched the existence of brown Windsor soup in British dining cars. After checking scores of menus dating back to the 19th century, they failed to find any mention of it. Despite its disputed origins, there are many recipes, and they often reassert or embellish the supposed myth. In popular culture British magazine The Poke advertised a satirical can of brown Windsor soup as part of a jubilee collection, available for about 40 liras, complete with silver spoon and reportedly made directly from the sewage outflow of Windsor Castle. Brown Windsor soup is identified in the film, Carry On Regardless. 1961 by Kenneth Connor as the dish he is splashed with having knocked over a waiter's tray on a train and in Carry on Abroad 1972 by Kenneth Williams in a scene in a restaurant, where the soup is mistakenly referred to as brown bristols by the Spanish hotel manager, played by Peter Butterworth. In an episode, titled The McCreaky Rising of 74, of The Goon Show, brown Windsor soup is used as a weapon and mocked as deficient in calories by the impressively stout Nettie Seagoon. In Hancock's Half Hour, episode, Air Crew Only, the in-flight meal starts with, Brown Windsor soup just burned enough to leave that attractive brown ring sticking round the edge of the plate. In Agatha Christie's Poirot, episode, Hercule Poirot's Christmas, Poirot laments to a waiter that the brown Windsor soup he has been served, doesn't look very delicious. In Basil the Rat, the last episode of Faulty Towers, the upper-class couple who have the rat under their table order a Windsor soup as their starter. See also Geographically indicated foods of the United Kingdom Hot pot disambiguation. Lancashire hot pot List of soups Potage Pottage <laughs>